Let's talk about acidic radical and basic radical. But before this, we must have clear idea about the acid and base. Okay, let's start with acid. An acid is a compound containing replaceable hydrogen atom or atoms and gives hydrogen ion when dissolves in water. And there are many acids among them. Hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid are very common. That's why we can give this as example. Have you noticed that there are two major points in the definition? One is it contains replaceable hydrogen atoms. And another, when dissolves in water, it gives hydrogen ion. Without the molecular formula of acid and its ionization, we cannot understand. That's why I want to give example. This is hydrochloric acid, which when dissolves in water, gives hydrogen ion and chloride ion. In the same way, this sulfuric acid, which gives hydrogen ion when dissolves in water and sulfate ion. In the same way, nitric acid gives hydrogen ion and nitrate ion and acetic acid. This is one of the organic acid gives hydrogen ion and acetate ion. This is the characteristic of acid. It gives hydrogen ion in aqueous solution. Have you noticed that beside hydrogen, there are other ions which I want to highlight. These are the ions which are other than hydrogen ion and I want to focus on this ion. What are these? Chloride ion, sulfate ion, nitrate ion, acetate ion, the other also which comes from different acid. All these are actually radicals also and these radicals are called acidic radical because it came from acid. So we can define acid radical like this. A radical came from an acid in the molecule of salt is called acidic radical. This chloride ion, sulfate ion, nitrate ion, acetate ion etc. are the radicals, these are also called radicals and these radicals came from acid, that's why they are called acidic radical. Now let's talk about base also and basic radical also. What is base? Metallic oxide, hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide are bases which reacts with acid to form salt and water only. When an acid reacts with base, then they form just the salt and water, nothing other than these two product. If a base dissolves in water then it gives hydroxyl ion just for example sodium hydroxide is a base when dissolves in water it gives hydroxyl ion potassium hydroxide is a base which when dissolves in water it gives hydroxyl ion and calcium hydroxide gives calcium ion and hydroxyl ion beside this hydroxyl ion there are other ion i want to highlight them what are they sodium ion potassium ion calcium ion there are many other also which comes from different base these are called basic ion and also called basic radical a radical came from a base in the molecule of salt is called basic radical Okay, these are the basic radical, sodium, potassium, calcium, when forms ion, they are called basic radical. How can we understand acidic radical and basic radical very clearly? These are basic radical and these are acidic radical. When a basic radical combines with acidic radical, then they form salt. When sodium combines with chlorine, then what it forms? Sodium chloride. This is a salt. In the same way, when potassium combines with sulfate, potassium sulfate. If potassium combines with chlorine, then potassium chloride. If calcium radical combines with nitrate radical, then they form calcium nitrate. These are the compounds which are formed by the reaction of acid and base, but acidic radical combines with basic radical to form a salt. In the same way, when sodium radical combines with acetate radical, it forms sodium acetate. In all these compounds, one of them is acidic radical, another is basic radical. Look at the first radical is always basic because they come from base. And the second radical which combines with the first is always acidic radical because they come from acid. But in this case, first radical is acidic radical and second radical is basic radical this is a little different than other okay i think i told you very clear about the acidic radical and basic radical and combination of acidic and basic radical forms salt let's stop the class we'll meet in another class with some another matter